All right, so he played it the which is kind of a wide move against it. I think you can reply with d5, like not really used to this, but it has to be d5. So if they play e4, you take and you take queens. Now they're giving us a lot of space. We are playing as black, but you shouldn't be scared at all. You can just take everything like e4, d4. All right, he played h4, so. It's basically saying if you cast a short, I'm going to destroy you. So, well, first of all, I can develop pieces and I will figure it out. Like, I don't have to cast a short, for example, I might play something else. Right, so at this point, since he's giving us a lot of space, I think we could take even more by playing the move c5. What is the point? I'm just preventing before. And I'm also preventing these. I'm kind of preventing everything, which is pretty good, I would say. So now that he played this move, he wants to think at the bishop, which makes sense. And I think he might also want to play c4, but at the point I can just push or take. So let's keep developing pieces. And we should be more than fine. So I guess knight on c6, because we can still decide where to put this bishop. Probably. I would say this way. Yeah, you see why I'm not castling short? Because you can play this move. Which right now doesn't make any sense because I haven't castled. That's the point. So I decided not to castle in order to avoid any problem. Now we can just develop the bishop. And guess what? I might castle long. And you still have to castle and develop every piece. Okay, you are attacking the knight. You're gaining space. But after I go back, I mean, what are you even attacking? I don't know, because again, I'm not castling. I decided to go for this. I just have to develop the queen and we have zero problems. So where can I develop the queen? On e7 makes sense. And even on c7. I don't know about b6. I would say queen on e7, because we put pressure on the e-file and I mean after we castle long we would have the king on c8 so the queen on c7 might be a problem in this case we don't have any problem and I guess we can castle I don't see why not and as you see we have a lot of space we are up in development so we are already much much better playing as black that's it now how can you win this? Well, first of all, you have to develop everything. Okay, we are much better, but it's not already won. We need to win the game, obviously. And we can also be careful and play this slowly. You don't have to sacrifice every piece or do something crazy. You can just wait till your opponent is going to make a mistake. So, first of all, you play this move. What can we do? We have basically the option. Do nothing, which makes sense. I mean, you take, I take it's more than fine and usually doing nothing is the best move in chess like keeping the tension another thing is taking which also makes a lot of sense because you don't want to open everything i am the one who had the castle and i have a good look there so it makes sense and the other move is pushing now if you have already castle we want to open everything, we don't want to close everything. So I would say the best move right now is taking. Decided to take this way, and now we can maneuver our knights. So let's start with, as I would say, knight on b6. It's fine. I'm also preventing queen on a4 ideas. I shouldn't have a lot of problems. In the future, I might pretend to take this pawn because the knight might be pinned. Let's say we move the bishop. We take, let's say, knight take, take, and that's good. Although you can take with the pawn and the bishop is also defending this, so we need to be careful. As I talk about this move, and I tell you something, I'm not sure about this. Because, okay, you are attacking me, but you gave me the square, which is huge. It's actually huge. I might play a5 first, which makes sense. 
and then eventually develop the knight but if i play a5 i give you a weakness although yeah i should be fine with that so yeah let's play yeah let's play a5 what is the point i'm preventing this and in the future i want to put the knight there but now i have to be careful because i mean i can't if i do this you take but i can prepare it like it's not a problem first let's play this so the knight is defending this the queen is defending this the bishop and the knight are defending this so everything is defended i move the bishop so there is pressure on this pawn and we still have this idea we might lose the pawn in order to win this which is more important well now we don't even have to lose a pawn because you are giving us this move with tempo you cannot take the pawn because you lose the queen and now i will say it's pretty much over just by one move you know why because after you do something i mean there is still the pin there is still everything there is still a ton of pressure there i have this idea you still have to castle and that's the problem with playing this stuff like this kind of system that are wrongs you shouldn't play like this and the problem is that i just develop everything and destroy you because you still have the king in the middle yeah i would say that you know this even makes sense but might have something better too what if a double rooks for example makes sense you keep putting a ton of pressure yeah let's play rook on d7 am i losing the pawn yes but i mean not even that sure i have tactics yeah probably these and then take the knight but even if i lose this pawn my point is that well you still have to castle I gave you a pawn, which is not really important, and I keep attacking you. That's my point. Now, talking about tactics, let's see. What if I play this? If you take, I take the knight. If you take the... Hmm. Well, I can take with check and the queen is hanging. So let's say I play this. You move, I win this. You take, I win the pawn. So play this, take, take, you move the queen, yeah, kinda works. But probably this is better. I will say it is better. So yeah, let's play the on d8 first, and then we might go for this. Yeah, because if you defend with the rook, I can take this pawn too. That's the problem. The rook was the only thing defending it, now the queen is under attack, and the knight is hanging. So yeah, definitely playing rook on d8 was the better move. Don't worry about the time, I mean, you see, I'm talking, I'm wasting a lot of time, but as you can see, it's rapid. I mean, when you're up, then the points of material, you don't really have to think a lot. That's the reasoning behind what I'm doing. I think you have to take the rook is hanging. So, I mean, I'm down a lot of time, but I'm going to win anyway, because, I mean, he's getting destroyed, he's on the verge of getting destroyed, so... Let's take first. You see the king in the middle. It's huge. It's huge. After that, I mean, you have to move the king. You cannot allow me to play with this pin. So you move the king, I take, and we win. Yeah, this move is stupid because we have a double check. That's the problem. And we win the rook too. And at this point, you can resign. Well, even this was a double check. And we could have won. The queen so you see always think even if you are completely winning always think remember that because you miss the best move not that this is a problem of course i was probably going to take this way which is basically nonsense it keeps opening everything okay let's play this let's see if it takes if they haven't castled and they are on the verge of getting mated they shouldn't open the position for you i mean you want to lose every point you have basically because you open stuff all right that's a bit of a annoying move but i think i can just play this and be safe now his only strategy is to win on time which is not going to happen now my plan is probably playing g6 attacking the queen and going for this pawn because as you can see in this position this is the biggest weakness and we should go for this weakness because after that the king is in real danger we would love to play this move, but we can't. So another idea could be actually to play b5. 
If you take, I have these. And if you don't, I just take, take, and we get in. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, B5 is a pretty good idea. Even G6, though, makes sense. Both of them are good. Alright, so uh, this is actually a blunder. Alright, you have threatened in this, but the bishop was defending this pawn, so we can take, we check. We played, and yeah, it's over. Okay, we can play it. It's not that we lose anything by playing. Okay, let's play it. As many pieces as possible. Why not? The rook now is super strong. Let's attack the knight. The knight moves. He's not going anywhere. Let's play this, blocking everything. And now we can push the pawn and make a queen. Super easy to win without a ton of material. That's why you should design. Even against a 1600, I mean, come on. Not going to lose. Okay, let's play this. And let's keep pushing till I win. Super easy. Yeah, this is not even that means something. Let's use the bishop so we are safe. We know that we can defend this pawn. You cannot push because we make a queen, that's the problem. You really can't. Oh yeah, let's play this so we are super safe. And we push this pawn too. And you know what? I think we win this. Come on. Alright. Alright. You want to get mated? You will get mated. Let's play this, building a cage. This is coming and I'm not sure you can stop it. GG. There we go. All right. Yeah, it was a good game. I thought I played a bit better than that, but it is fine. Let's see what happened. So yeah, D3 doesn't make any sense. You can play D5 and take all the space possible. Again, the point is that if you play this, I just take, take with the queens, and I'm already better with black at move, um, what, e4, something like that. But, I mean, after they play d3, and we play d5, we are already better with black at move 1. <laughs> That's the problem of d3. This is super passive, doesn't make any sense, and as you can see, 5 is a pretty good move. Now, they play the h4. The problem of playing this pawn push is and why they are usually bad is that okay if i castle short that's an asset i get it although no one said i have to castle short that's the problem so if you play this i'm not scared okay i can just develop the knight and it's not because i want to castle short it's, it's because i just want to develop pieces so it makes sense he developed the bishop in a weird way but i mean you cannot really do anything else well, you might play G3, but I don't know. It's nonsense. Yeah, I keep developing. He played the, I think, with the idea of playing before. So I cannot cast a short or long. On Stockfish, is suggesting to cast a short, but Stockfish is a computer. Doesn't understand the danger of the attack, and he can defend it. I'm not sure I can, first of all, and I'm a human, so that's why I decided to play this, which is still a pretty good move. What is the point? The point is that you cannot play before. I have a ton of space. And I'm going to castle long. So he decided to go for bit D. And as you can see, I'm already close to minus one. And what I did was just to develop pieces and gain space. As simple as that. Super easy. Now, again, this move is inaccurate because it would make sense if I had the king on g8. But I didn't castle. That's the point. You shouldn't play this move without your opening having committed to castling short or castling long. That's the point. I'm not scared. I can just develop the bishop, for example, which is somehow inaccurate. H6 was the move. Okay, I just developed the bishop. You play this. Knight d7. I'm going to castle long. I cannot castle short. I'm going to castle long. And guess what? You wasted a lot of moves trying to make me castle long, basically. So yeah, it's kind of pointless.
Yeah, he developed the vision, which makes sense. We know he's seven again. Castle, castle shot. Why? Why stockfish? Why would you do that? He wants to castle. F5. Come on, stockfish. I'm just castling long. He's inaccurate, but uh, I mean, I don't even lose the advantage. And he played c4. The problem with c4, well, now he's in d4, which is what I suggested you not to play. And I still believe that because we want to open everything. If we open everything, it's going to have problems. Now, probably this is not super accurate because we can have something on the queen side, but not really, to be fair. So, what I did made sense. Yeah, this is a5. We block the spawn. If you attack the pawn, we don't care because we still have this pretty good square. We could play e4, yeah, which makes sense. e4, I, I, mean, I missed it. We could play e4. Looks like this super strong. But we could also slide the bishop back. It's a mistake because e4 was much better to get. And this point, I mean, you give us knight on b4. It's a great move, but I mean, it's super easy to see. We are attacking the pawn. And now. I mean, that's pretty much it. Rook on d7 was pretty good. Yeah, Rook on d7 was the best. With the idea of Rook on d8. We give the pawn, but as you see, <laughs> I'm not supposed to win material in a position like this. I mean, come on. Look at this. Look at this. I'm playing with pretty much every piece. You are maybe playing with the queen and the knight. Alright? This is not playing. This is not playing. This is not playing. This is blocked. This is kind of playing, is defending the pawn. It's horrible. You're not supposed to win material. You are supposed to defend. But yeah, look on the 8 was my point, which was pretty good apparently. And now we can just take the pawn on e4 and win a ton of material. As you can see, we can take the bishop first. And then we win the knight. At this point, knight take on d 3 was the best move, as I said, but I... I decided to play super quick move, which was a mistake again. If you have a good move, team can try to find a better one. So that makes sense. We take, we defend everything. And I mean, this was pretty easy. There isn't anything super complicated to see. Yeah, I mean, that's it. The conversion wasn't hard at all. Was pretty easy. I had to say, we attack the pawn now, we push and we make a queen. Nothing hard to do. So yeah. That's it for today guys, I hope this video was helpful and see you soon with another game of chess.